The U.S. Supreme Court is confirming that the bombshell leak of a draft opinion seeking to overturn the Roe v. Wade decision is in fact authentic. The court is cautioning, though, that this is not a final decision. ABC's Faith Abube is following historic developments today from the nation's capital. Tonight, growing anger and disappointment among abortion rights advocates after Politico published a leaked first draft opinion suggesting the days of a federally guaranteed right to an abortion are numbered. If this decision holds, it's really quite a radical decision. The Women's March calling on supporters to hit the streets and joint rallies across the country. Hundreds of activists taking the fight directly to the Supreme Court Plaza. They are not going to get away with this. Let me say that I don't care what I have to do. The high court confirms the draft document is real, but the opinion on the issues, including overturning the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade decision, is not final. Chief Justice Roberts is directing the marshal of the court to investigate the unprecedented leak, calling it an egregious breach of trust. Somebody, likely somebody inside the court itself, leaked a confidential internal draft to the press, almost certainly in an effort to stir up an inappropriate pressure campaign. If the draft opinion stands, it would mean a dramatic shift in reproductive rights in this country. Millions of American women could immediately lose their legal right to an abortion. CDC data shows nearly 93% of abortions happen before 13 weeks, before a fetus can survive outside the womb. Women in their 20s account for more than half of abortions, with more black women undergoing the procedure. Red states and blue states, old people and young people, want Roe versus Wade to maintain We don't want to dismember children land. in the womb, ma'am. We, 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 no, we are not going we to stand right for dismembering 3,000 children we in the womb every here. single and a new ABC News Washington Post poll shows a majority of Americans, 54 percent, do not support overturning Roe versus Wade. At the Supreme Court, Faith Abube, ABC News.